for him, but he won that battle pretty impressively. So there's a chance here now for Tipperary to re-establish their three-point advantage. Let's just watch this again. The yeah, road good good, good well. tussling there by, by Dublin, but uh, number five there, um, Michael Carton, hurley up high, Marty, and just pull the player down. No real reason, but as I said, little small signs of tiredness coming to Dublin. They've been very, very good discipline-wise. They've given very little scoreable frees away, but you know, um, I'm just watching five and seven there, right, and little things happening, and um, it's showing a, a degree of tiredness entering their play. Owen Kelly taking this free. And it sails between the posts for his sixth point of the match. Tipperary 116, Dublin 16 points. Tipperary introduced Brian O'Mara, so he replaces the road Ryan. And there's also another change. Uh, Dublin introduce number 23. That's Shane Ryan. And going off is Liam Ryan. And it's funny. We're now in the 65th minute, and the goal after two minutes by Lara Corbett, which was a soft goal, is essentially the difference between the teams. That's right, Martin. If you look down from where we are at the moment, Tip have only three players inside their six, the, the, the Dublin 65. John O'Keefe knocks it back, whereas Conor O'Mahony loses possession. Liam Rush comes in to challenge O'Keefe. Morris O'Brien works hard, coming through. Shane Ryan hitting it. And that is some arrival. Hill 16 response. Excellent point, you know, you know, bulky player, physical player, former footballer with Dublin, and he came in the quarter final as well against Liverpool and got a great time, Martin. You know, they're not out of the game if they can use the possession judiciously from here to the end. Two points between the teams. It's a battle all the way to the end line. Declan Ryan, a little bit concerned all the way through. He's made several changes in an effort to try and find this Tipperary rhythm. A free for Tipperary. There's some statistical information for you in terms of scores from play. Sideline cut taken by Noel McGrath. Oh, that's a beauty, absolute beauty. Will that book Tipperary's tickets for the All-Ireland Final on the 4th of September. Class all the way. What? Pressure now on Tipperary. They've scored 17 times, but they now need a goal as we go in for the last four minutes. Nicely picked up by Paul Buck. He wants to impress his manager. Needs to lay it off. No free given. Going back there is Shane Ryan. Dispossessed, Porig Mar. Brilliant score by the left half back, and it's his second of the day at headquarters. Well, a mistake there by Shane Ryan. Could have picked it up or could have knocked it with his foot out towards the sideline. Left it after him, and that's Shane, uh, that, that's uh, Porig Mar's second point of the second half, and it gives tip to Big Phillip. 67 and a half minutes played. It's now a four-point advantage for the All-Ireland champions. Shane McGuire takes a pretty heavy hit. Dublin need every slipper, every ball that comes their way now. Owen Kelly, slightly miscued. First to the ball, has to be. Surely taken down is John McCaffrey, the captain. He's now deep inside his own full backline playing, and he's going to take the free. Floats it in, drop it on the 13-metre line. Loose ball comes back out towards Rhino Dewar. Shields it with his body. Tries to get it up. Still plenty of temporary players there around him. Porig Barr is there. Rhino Dewar. John O'Keefe. It's bobbling all over the place. Paddy Stapleton is there. Simon Lambert is waiting for it. And coming, most importantly, with the slither away is Noel McGrath. Gives it back to his goalkeeper, Brendan Cummins. And he was under a little bit of pressure momentarily from Dara Plunkett. Comes down to Joey Boland. Needs to steady the ship, dropping this in towards Paul Ryan. Now Corbett goes up with him. Still Ryan, chasing after him. Noel McGrath, playing as a back extra defender. Comes to Owen Kelly in the middle of the field. Wonderful block down, as Dublin now chase everything. They have nothing to lose. They need a score. It's floating in, and it is over the crossbar. 
Dublin aren't finished yet. Peter Kelly coming from deep inside his own half of the field to knock that over. Well, as we said earlier, Marty, he's more of a weak back great tackle there by Peter Kelly. Um, surprised that he won the ball, but he's more of a wing back. He played left half back and he's noted as a long range score taker and a tip introduced number 18 now. Shane Burke is on for Owen Kelly. The captain taken off as Dublin find their rhythm. Shane Burke, just 22 years of age. He was the man that scored three goals and four points from play against Galway and Pierce Stadium in the National Hurling League in his very first appearance for his county. Really working hard and impressive is Simon Lambert. Dublin go back into the attack. It's three against three here. It's Liam Rush. He scored earlier in the game. Tries to lay it back. It's Shane Ryan with five Leinster Football Championship medals. Is he going to get a chance to play in the All-Ireland Final? Lark Corbett is almost playing a cornerback. He drives it down. Niall Cork with Joey Boland. Two against one here. Shane Burke chasing after him. So too Pabba. Peter Kelly is back there as well. Shane Burke is the 18. Joey Boland, Kelly. Bodies colliding. A slither on the ground. And the Dublin almost had it. Shane Durkin is there, lying on the ball. Surely this is going to be a throw ball. <laughs> it's pulsating stuff. And we're now into injury time. Two minutes of additional time. Two minutes for Tipperary to be back in the All-Ireland final. To complete the trilogy against Kilkenny. Or will it be Dublin? Carl McAllister checks with his umpires down at the Davin end. Bernard Butler, Danny Looney from Middleton and Ballinacurra giving the man in charge some vital information. Dalo may well engineer another change in the attack. Paul McAllister is coming out now. He has his book out and this is going to add on surely more time. He's and looking Mark, for somebody. This all suits to Barry Marty because, you know, what, you know Dublin have to get come back into it and, uh, you know, it'll take time out of the clock. There's already a minute now and 10, 20 seconds gone from the two minutes probably and refs very seldom add on the, the, the extra bit but, you know, it takes time out of Dublin's comeback and it kills the play a little bit. One goal between the teams. Here comes the throw ball. Dublin need possession here if they have any chance of forcing this to a draw. A lovely little flick by Noel McGrath and the referee's whistle has blown and he's giving a free to Tipperary and that surely now will be it for Dublin and it for Tipperary. But what a battle we've had here in Croke Park. Four points is too much of a distance for Dublin now if this goes over the bar. Standing over the ball is Parbuck. Easy free for him. At least it should be. And it is. Is that enough for the Premier County? Well, that's the insurance, Marty. I mean, uh, you know, time is up according to the two minutes and I don't think the ref is going to add on too much more. Changes in the uh, Dublin full forward line. Liam Ryan is off and Padder Carton is now on. There's the change. Puck out by Gary Maguire. We've 72 and a half minutes played. Is there time for Dublin to recover? With four points, it looks unlikely. Simon Lambert drops this in. And the ball is going off a temporary defender. And that's a 65, their second of this All-Ireland semi-final. Time ticking away for Daly's men. They've won the Walsh Cup, they've won the National League. But perhaps this journey is coming to an end. Well, Marty, I, I'm just looking down at the tip defence and Lark Corbett, uh, you know, this is a habit of his, he goes away back into the defence where I think it would be much more beneficial for him and for Tip, you know, with the game opening up if he was up in his own forward line because when you're under pressure like that, all you want is an, an extra point or two to kill the game. Paul Ryan has scored nine times. He's dropping this one in deliberately. Can there be a connection? It's loose, it's there, and it's cleared off the line. And Dublin keep the pressure on. Penny Stapleton gets it out just a little bit. Shane Ryan looking around 
dropping it in. Ryan O'Dwyer gets a touch. Ah! Brendan Cummins is there, and the umpire again has his hand up. It's going to be a 65. It's not going to be allowed because the final whistle has blown. Brendan Cummins, he picked up a nice little shiner in training on Friday, but he was able to play. He clenches the fist, and that young Tipperary fan is absolutely thrilled. Disappointment for Dublin. They shake hands after a wonderful battle. Anthony Daly commiserated by the Tipperary management team. Lar Corbett's goal after two minutes, the essential difference between the teams. There's Declan Ryan and Anthony Daly. Daly has done a great job for Dublin because here, without five star players like Heine, like Conal Keeney, like Tomas Brady, so many players missing from this Dublin team to put it up to Declan Ryan's men in an All-Ireland semi-final at this level. It was a chase all the way to the 70th minute. You must give credit to Dublin. But for Tipperary, they retain their All-Ireland title and they now face Kilkenny on the 4th of September in a game that I'm sure the nation, indeed all over the world, where there's anybody gathered that will enjoy and savour the game of hurling, will be looking forward to. Five times they were level in the first half, seven times level overall. Essentially, Lar Corbett's goal, which was of the soft nature, was the difference between the teams. For Rhino Dwyer, disappointment. He scored in the first half against his native county. But the big news from Croke Park is that Tipperary have defeated the league champions. But what a struggle. What a battle, Donald O'Grady. Well, I think that Tip will be delighted with that win and uh, they'll be delighted to the manner of the win also, Marty, because they got no test up to this and I think this is the ideal sort of preparation before you go to an all Ireland final against Kilkenny. They will put the pin to the collar, uh, you know, against Dublin who fought with great intensity all through. Just, um, you know, maybe those five players that they were missing, you know, meant that they couldn't really, you know, introduce people from the bench, but, you know, they'll be, Tip will be delighted to get over that with a four-point win. Heartbreak for Niall Corcoran because certainly uh, Dublin gave it everything. And after last Sunday's performance by Kilkenny, everybody anticipated that Tipperary would wipe away Dublin out of this uh, championship semi-final. They didn't do so, and it was anticipated that Tipperary would be the hot favourites for the All-Ireland final. They may well be, but this is a game that will suit Tipperary. Well, I think, Marty, when you look at Dublin, they'll be delighted with their season as well. Beaten by Antrim last year, and, uh, you know, won the league, won the Welsh Cup, and put Tipperary to the pin of their collar. They'll get the kudos for the performance, definitely. Great work by Anthony Daly, and um, you know you can see that Dublin are on the up, and who'd bet against them winning an All Ireland the next three or four years? Absolutely, because uh, Dublin undoubtedly on the up. The college's success, the Phelan and Gael successes, the uh, minor successes, and under 21 have all come together and winning the, the National Hurling League title, their first national title since 1938, was hugely significant. And we're not giving empty platitudes here. Make uh, yourself aware that Dublin are going to be back. Stephen Heine injured there, of course, during the uh, campaign. There amongst his players, because this Dublin team undoubtedly will be back. Tipperary have headed to the dressing room. Dublin have stayed on the field to savour the moment, because while Tipperary are in the All-Ireland final on the 4th of September, you can take it for certain that Dublin will be back. Full-time score in this All-Ireland semi-final, Tipperary 119. Dublin 18.